Hi, my name is Daniel with Living Water Aeration, and today I'm going to show you our Air Pro system for one acre ponds. On our website, it's item number PA34D. And this really consists of a single head uh, diffuser with metallic self sinking base. And over here, we have a 100 foot roll of 3 8 inch weighted airline. And it's self sinking tubing, so it's going to go right to the bottom. Um, here we have our cabinet. It's a, a metal cabinet, powder coated. Inside you have the Stratus quarter horsepower rocking piston compressor. It also has a receptacle outlet that you can plug the compressor in inside the cabinet. And it also comes complete with the cooling fan to keep the compressor at a good temperature. Um, what, you, what you'll notice at the bottom of the cabinet is it has prefabricated knockout holes so you can run your airline out the cabinet into the pond. Our pond aeration systems are fairly easy to install. The systems that come with a cabinet also feature a receptacle outlet to where you can easily plug in your compressor and cooling fan right inside of the cabinet. Each aeration system has a valve manifold with short pieces of tubing that can easily be pulled out of the cabinet through the prefabricated knockout holes. The other end of the tubing will connect using a barb fitting to the rows of tubing that come with the system. They have a stainless steel hose clamp that you can easily tighten with a wrench or socket set. To make it easier to install, you may want to stretch out the rolls of tubing over land before going into the water. The other end of the tubing will connect to the diffuser, and again, you'll utilize a stainless steel hose clamps to tighten the tubing onto the bar fitting. If you think you'll ever need to retrieve your diffuser, you may want to tie a rope to one end of the diffuser and tie the other end to a duck decoy or milk jug or something that floats in case you would ever want to retrieve it and pull it out of the water. It's easy to put the diffuser in the pond, simply lower it into the bottom of the pond. There's almost no wrong way to do this as uh, we've tested it many times and the diffuser always lands on the metallic base first with the diffusers facing up. Now once you have the diffuser lowered to the bottom of the pond, you're ready to turn on your compressor. Then you will see bubbles coming to the surface of the water as shown. And that's how you know you're on your way to a healthy pond. <music> 